everyone, this is V Buzzing with V. Well, today's video is a craft with me for Scrap Diva Designs. I will have her linked below. Please go check her out. She has some amazing dies right now and they are so different from what we have been seeing and so um i also have a discount so go ahead and check that out so today we are making this little svg file it's a coin purse and so i'm going to start off with that i have her dies right here and i also have some extras to show you what it looks like so here is the little coin purse these are the pieces that i'm working with so um, here are the top of the coin purse. Here is the ephemera pieces. Here is the die, isn't it so cute? I love it. I've already created the shaker part. All I need to do is do the hearts and then glue it on and then put um, the shaker pieces inside. And so here is the ephemera. And then um, here is the lining. So the blue is the lining. The This is goes on the top. Well, you'll see right now. But it's such a cute little coin purse. I love it, you guys. Okay, so okay. we have two projects going on. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. First step is we're going to glue the base together. So this is what it looks like right here. We're going to glue all this together. So I ran into a little snag, but I got it together. And... Um, so let's go ahead and do the rest of it. So this is what it looks like. So um, it's very small in the inside. And then when you close it, as you can see these little the flaps right here open. So, and then they push down. But I love this SVG file. I will have it linked below, I believe. And let me check. I think it's a Lori Whitlock file. It sure is, you guys. I love Lori Whitlock, so this is one of her files. It will be linked below. I picked it up from the Silhouette Design Store, so she does have a website, which is amazing because then those who don't have a Silhouette can order as well. So let's go ahead and put this on here and um, glue it with some hot glue. Okay, this is what it looks like almost done here so now let's go ahead and put the upper half of the coin purse on and we go ahead and glue that on okay it's looking good you guys look at that so I love the red against this right here it picks up a lot of the reds in here so I love it okay let's go ahead and decorate so before I decorate I'm going to have to put a backing here and I believe this is gonna go like this how cute are these scissors so cute I chose to go with a glittered cardstock so hopefully that stands out in in the video okay time to add the embellishments so this is what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna put that there because we have to cover that side there there's the scissors right there and here is the typewriter I don't like it <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that Okay, this is what it looks like how cute did that turn out I love it you guys so cute super cute so let's go ahead and I want to do magnets because you guys have to be careful for this but since I have no paper I glued this well I cut this out um, wrong on this side this side has the slit so it would work it would go in there but this one doesn't so uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put these little magnets that I picked up from, I picked up from Amazon. So they're like this and you know what, they do have a good grip. It's just that um, I did use it once by covering it with another piece of paper which didn't adhere. So um, this time I'm just going to glue it on directly 
and so uh, hopefully that'll work uh, so I wouldn't recommend these for um, if you want to hide them or something like that um, like by putting other piece of paper over it I wouldn't do that okay it worked out you guys so there's the magnet there right there and closed like that so cute so next let's go ahead and make the uh, let's go ahead and use the larger scissors so we would use these ones right here these this is cut out of foam and um, I was gonna make extras but it just took too much time to make extras and do the video so I figured I do the video then make extras so let's go ahead and do that so this is what it looks like right here so so cute I love the scissors we're still gonna cover that and um, we didn't use the flat back on this one because uh, it's already been used so oh my goodness I love this you guys Next, another Lori Whitlock file, and I absolutely love this one. We're making an apron box. This is one of her apron card boxes, and this is not just any apron. This is Crafter's Apron, so you guys, yeah. Um, Crafter's Apron over baking apron, right? <laughs> okay, so I've already prepped everything. Um, so the only thing with this file is that it's made for a card. So there's no bottom base. So I did make that. I made a bottom base. However, I forgot to add a, a flap here and a flap here. So I'm going to do that manually and you'll see how I do that um, later in the video. So let's go ahead and glue the pieces together. Here we have all of the lining set so this is the apron here it's going to be a box just like so and now here is the other piece so in order to make a bigger box file I needed to cut the apron in sections so I did that and so that's where here's the box right here and as you can see it doesn't quite fit because of the the bottom flaps I didn't put flaps here so we're gonna add flaps there let's go ahead and do that okay so here are the little notches here that I'm gonna put insert here because I forgot to do that on my silhouette so let's go ahead and glue these together Okay, so if you guys go ahead and do this, what you're going to want to do is make it look like this. So if you um, are going to design your own piece like I did, so it would be a square, uh, well, a rectangle here, a rectangle here, and then the sides, two rectangles, and on the top, a rectangle, and then you could create your um, the rest of the, uh, the base here. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this together and... Um, Let's go ahead and do that. How cute is this, you guys? It is so cute. I love it. So let's go ahead and decorate. So I decided to do this. So we're going to put this right here. And this heart will go right here and these are stickers you guys know how I um, glue well I adhere them to cardstock and I sew them so here are the candies how does that look and then I have the sticker here that will go right there so it'll say I love you that is crafty loves you guys <laughs> okay so let's go ahead I'm not sure about this heart right here I'm like iffy about it but I don't know what else to put there so hopefully that looks cute let's go ahead and do this Okay, 
time to add this and I will be adding this with some, I believe, uh, liquid glue, yeah. So it's gonna go like that, so cute, I love it already. So I'm gonna start with the, with the U first, then love, then the I. Let's do it. You guys, look at that. I love how the black looks against all the color. It's really good. Um, what I did use is glossy accents instead of this liquid glue that I normally use. And I love it. It looks so cute. Excuse the knocking, you guys. That's my son. Um, he loves to do that. So look at that. I love it. So now we're going to go ahead and put some string in the top. And look at that box. It's fairly big. It's large. We could put anything in there for our recipients. And yeah, I love it. Even um, we could do the embellishments, put the scissors in there, put it in a bag topper, put some socks in there. So cute. I love it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I went ahead and added something in there just to make it look cute, but I have. I'm going to add embellishments in there, which I haven't made yet, but I did add a dangle and I added a uh, little apron um, neck piece. There's the bow, so cute. I love it, you guys. It came out so cute. So now to take pictures and post it on Instagram, you guys, please check out Scrap Diva Designs. She will be linked below. This is her website right here. And be sure to use my code if I inspired you. Um, it will be linked below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!